Hi there, how are you doing? So finally we have a new MGR release version. This it's a 4.2. And finally I find the time to catch up in the YouTube channel and record some videos and some video tutorials. So I'm really sorry. Last uh, year has been very busy with a lot of uh, projects, client projects, and also MVR development, lots of new features and new features that are not yet released, but are in the way. So has been very, very busy and last, next year is going to be even more busy. So but yeah, finally we have the 4.2 version here and this version has the first iteration of the UI gear that is the Unreal Engine gear so for Unreal Engine obviously this is marked as a 0.5 beta release and the reason is because the final goal as you can guess it's to have like a rigs built from and gear to Unreal and inside Unreal uh, with control rig but at this uh, stage we only have the first uh, part that it's the uh, workflow between Unreal and Maya with FVX and also to um, some like camera and sequencer synchronization and static mesh uh, for layouts uh, with levels so you can start using this right now i'm recording more videos for all each uh, uh, the parts of all the new features but uh yeah i just want to mention this here on this intro video because it's the, probably the biggest uh improvement uh, in terms of like what we have been working in the last year so before I forget, I want to thanks to everybody that has been helping M Gear uh, in the last year, and big shout out to Elena from Remedy Entertainment for uh, his uh, contributions. Joshi Nishimura also for has been doing a lot of contributions lately to to M Gear. Uh, Chris Chris Lasage. Uh, thank you for managing all the forum and all the public relations. I will say. It's uh, uh, very, very appreciated all your help during the years. Also, big shout out to Emilio Serrano. He's been pumping all these amazing rigs for M Gear for free on his uh, Gumroad page. If you don't know his rigs, please check it out. I will try to add a link on the description of this video. Also, big, big shout out to uh, Kim Sol. Uh, Kim, it's working on the uh, Pi Maya wrapper for get uh, rid of. Pymel dependency on future MDR releases. So this is not yet released, but it's on the works. It's been, uh, been uh, a big request for, for many years. So hopefully we will improve in performance. And also the most important is we are not relying anymore on Pymel that looks like it's, uh, it's uh, end of life. It's, it's arriving. I don't know if it's going to be maintained for a long time, but uh, for the moment we still need uh, to install Pymel. So remember, fresh my installation, install PyMail because if not, MDR will not work. Also, I want to shout out uh, Love This Guy and my friends uh, David and Ivan because uh, one of the tools uh, like um, uh, Spring Manager has uh, been possible thanks to the uh, financial support of uh, Love This Guy and uh, the ideas and feedback from David and Ivan. So thank you so much. And last but not less, uh, all my uh, MCS Gear uh, team, Simon, Irene, Cesar, and Mio, thank you so much for all the support and hard work this uh, last year. And thank you to the whole community for all the support. So, okay, so we, I hope I didn't miss anybody. Uh, but uh, obviously, being an open source project with a lot of contributors, it's always like uh, there's a lot of people involved, and uh, I I really, really appreciate all the help and support. Okay, so um, for this release, uh, as I said, we have these uh, new features. Uh, we have UI gear. I just want to jump quickly to the roadmap here for what is coming next. So we have, I need to update a little bit this, uh, but basically we have covered all this part with the 0.5 and also uh, this part here. So we end part of uh, this also its cover on these uh, releases. So this it's why it's 0.5 and not 0.2 because we already included some elements that were meant to be somewhere later on the development. Um, so that's it. How it's gonna be like probably the 
first uh, half part of next year is where I hope we can have this uh, release. Also on the MGear part for Maya, we are uh, planning obviously to keep developing everything and improving the tools, improving the workflows, add more animation tools. And some of the tools that we are releasing uh, today will be uh, improved in the future because uh, we're just doing the first release like the rig builder, uh, also the human AK mapper that is a tool that will replace the old uh, motion capture tools that we have that were very very basic and very uh, very crappy I would say I did it many years ago in a kind of a rush and they stay there for, for a long time so that's something that it's uh, it's uh, it's changing now so keep an eye on that Going back to the release log, I don't want to forget anything. So basically all the tools that you can see here on the list uh, has season uh, videos on this playlist. The only one that don't have yet the video at the time recording, it's the RBF Manager 2.0 that we will record in this in a few days with uh, Joji, that is the, uh, the creator of uh, this new version of the RBF Manager. Uh, for the rest, uh, if you have any questions as usual, please use the forums and we will try to reply as soon as possible and thank you so much for listening and enjoy the new hem gear have a nice one bye bye